thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith. So do. The Apostle Paul said, if they teach fables, it's not the real God. Stop and think about this for a minute. Okay? Here I'm going to try to teach the truth of the ages. Jesus Christ. The way, the truth, and the life. And I'm going to do it by way of something that's not true. Do you see the clash here? Do you see the opposites? Oh, well, the new paradigm is to fuse the opposites. This is not true, but this is true. And we're going to find the real truth, the new truth, by fusing these two together. You see how it works? Okay? Yin and yang, square and compass, uh, as above, so below. Sons of God, daughters of men. They're all fusing together here. Truth and fable. Uh, we talked about uh, creation here a while back. Uh, creation, and there's theistic evolution, which is an attempt to make the Bible jam into evolution. It doesn't work. They're separate. They're opposite ideas. Okay? Male and female, Baphomet. Um, and so this, this Jesus that that Tolkien and Lewis, they allegorize about in their books, supposedly, is not the Jesus who is all truth all the time. Some, and somebody asked me, what about the parables? They were true stories. Jesus never said, let's, let's imagine that there was this guy that went to hell. That's not what he said. Jesus said, there was a certain rich man. He didn't make the story up. I think Jesus knew this man knew who he was. Okay? 2 Timothy chapter 4. Preach the word. Preach the word. Didn't say preach Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Didn't say have a special showing in your church with this and for uh, $250 we'll send you a program packet that you can lead people to real Jesus by watching C.S. Lewis movies and Lord of the Rings and even Harry Potter. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove. Rebuke, exhort with all long-suffering and doctrine, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned into what? Fables. Second Peter chapter 1, For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. Peter said, when I got saved, I didn't get saved because I heard about a story about Mithras and Bacchus and Apollyon and, and uh, Osiris and, uh, and Tammuz. That's not how I got saved. I didn't follow the cunningly devised fables. He said, if we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Then he says, three verses later, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. Okay? So you got a choice here. Let me, uh, here we go. Novel, fiction, okay, allegory. Here's Dan Brown, the lost symbol, and here's the word of God. Okay? They both look like lions. They both do. One of them's the real one. One of them's the fake one. You know how easy it is to tell which one's true. Which one is based upon the truth. A lot of people you know are going to say, oh, this is oh, this is Jesus, all that. Yeah, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, he's Jesus. Yeah, he's a wizard, but he's Jesus. Jesus the wizard. Gandalf the gray, Gandalf the white. He's a wizard, but he's Jesus because he dies and rises again. Well, the beast, the lion-faced hierophant, is down in a pit right now waiting to initiate mankind to follow after a different kind of roaring lion. Um... Talk about our watchers list. You want to get on our watchers list? You get all of our watchman video broadcasts, DVDs, anything that you want. We'll send it to you on a monthly basis. All we ask is uh, some kind of donation of any amount to help us out with our cost. Uh, we have some books here. I've kind of been talking about them here. The King James Code, Scripture Numerics, and Bible Prophecy by Divine Order. The one, this one comes first and then this one. Uh, that's how I wrote them. And we talked about earlier about the Babel Conspiracy. There's a video that goes with this. My wife talks about, don't you hate those people? We really don't hate anybody. Don't you dislike those people and say, hey, want to go with? Anyway. Uh, and then Capital Secrets. 
the Lincoln Memorial. There's a video that goes with this as well, full color. And uh, again, never charge anything for our material. And if you get our DVDs and you copy them, don't feel bad. Because I just talked to a guy this morning and said uh, he needs more copies because he's trying to copy them. And I said, praise the Lord for it. That's what we want you to do. We never charge anything for it, but somebody has to pay for it. We're still just a small church down here in Jefferson County, Missouri. Uh, these people love the Lord, and they're excited about what God's doing. And if you can help us out, we would certainly uh, appreciate it. This is Pastor Mike. I love you. God bless you. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.